Hey folks, welcome. In this video I'm going to break down a project that I worked on where I was asked to create a melody generator. It will take more than one episode to really break down this patch uh, and in this particular episode I will explain how to use a um, probability table and uh, to generate a melody based on a key and the probability table is gonna give me the chances of getting intervals such uh, as um, unison, second, third, fourth, and so forth. Start by creating the option of uh, selecting a different scale. In this case, I have major scale, minor scale, whole, st whole tone or chromatic, but of course any sort of scale can be added. And as you can see here, I have uh, the scales are, um, are formatted as a set of intervals, a, a pattern of intervals. And each scale can have different uh, lengths, um, but, and they all start from zero, which is my key. And then the first thing I wanna do is to um, repeat these scales a number of times based on the number of octaves that I want to have in my melody. I can change that repeat uh, argument to match the number of octaves that I wish to have in my melody. The back eater with uh, the argument at max depth one uh, will give me then a uh, index for each one of these uh, repetitions. And if I subtract one from the index, the index will be based on zero. And then uh, if I multiply that index by 12, I will have the octave displacement, which uh, will only need to be added to the to each one of the iterated uh, sublists in order to have octaves. And as you can see in the print in the max console, now I have uh, each one of the repetitions are displaced by uh, a multiple of 12 with the first one having a, a display, displacement of zero. So if I then collect all of these um, uh, sublists into a um, into a collect object, and in this case I wouldn't really need the uh, command line, the uh, rightmost uh, connection, but I will um, I will put it there anyway, and then I will. Uh, eventually need to uh, flatten the list. Um, so the trigger will uh, always uh, be necessary because I need to first iterate and then output the collected list. And then I can flatten the list and now I have a flat list. And then I will save this uh, list of pitches which are still zero based um, uh, that I will need to eventually uh, offset by a key. I will select one, each one of these intervals by using a um, I table. And the I table, I've used the I table in the past in other tutorials. It's a great object to do this um, uh, probability um, operations. When the bang is received, then I will have a uh, stochastic output based on the probabilities that I have drawn in the sliders. So this will be my tool to select which interval I will be getting in the melody, but also I want to select a, a direction of the interval. And for that, I will just uh, need a simple coin toss, meaning uh, 50% chance of going up or down and that uh, is just created by a random object and then a uh, more than 50 uh, boolean operation and that will uh, output a 0 or a 1 and if I add a 1 to that then the, the gate will be open on the first or the second outlet deciding whether the melody goes uh, respectively up or down. So um, that's uh, going to be my index for the 
um, saved a list of intervals that I have created with uh, the octave um, accumulation as well. But I need to um, always keep track of my last interval to either add or subtract from it. I have to uh, send that interval back so that I can do the operations of adding or, or subtracting from it. As I can see here, I can easily go out of bounds if I don't control for the output. And so I can add a uh, two if objects and one will be if the um, interval is uh, more than one, then go ahead and output. But if it's uh, less than one, then I don't want it to go less than zero because less because that will uh, will not uh, pick any element from my list. Uh, so I will have to uh, add something to it. And in this case, I will add one. And for the second, if uh, I will have a back length, which uh, will tell me whether I'm going out of bounds in the in the higher range, and, and then I will subtract something from it. And so now I can start picking uh, intervals from, uh, I can start picking intervals from my list. You can see there I have a null. I should not be getting null values from, uh, from my nth object. The indexes that are output from uh, my um, I table and if statements are uh, are zero based and I as I keep repeating uh, you have to be careful because back lists are usually one based and not zero based so I need to add one to uh, my output So now I, all I need to do is to add a key and to add the key, I'm going to use a uh, integer box uh, and I can actually select the integer box to uh, also display MIDI value, MIDI notes. In order for that to become a uh, Bach um, pitch, I will need to multiply that by a hundred as you can see there. And then I can add it to my uh, list of intervals. Uh, make sure to multiply that also by 100. And now if I output my um, pitches, those are now in MIDI cent values. And my uh, MIDI note will also be the lowest note of my, uh, of my melody. Now I can collect all I have there. And uh, I can uh, output a bunch of um, pitches, and making sure to unwrap them uh, to make them uh, chords in my uh, back roll or back score. And then also outwrap to uh, create a parenthesis level for my voice. Uzi is outputting a bang first. Uh, it's outputting 30 bangs and each bang goes to the I table. And then when the Uzi is done, it will output a bang, a bang from the uh, center outlet. And that will be um, split into three bangs, one for my collect, another one to build the back roll, and another one to send the clefs auto uh, message to the back roll. So now, what I can do is um, wrap everything that I've done in, in there uh, into a sub patcher and leave out only the elements that I will need to, um, to control my output. So in the project that I was given to work on, the list of durations uh, were given. So I, I uh, 
didn't have to worry about that. And my job was just to add a uh, melody to them based on certain rules. Uh, and so I could use the, the list of durations, that, which was already a well-formed list of durations, and assign for each duration a pitch value. So for that, uh, I can actually use that list of pre-formed uh, durations to um, create a structure in the list that will be uh, reflecting each one of the elements, but with different values, meaning pitch values. So that's uh, an, an example of the durations of a list of durations that I got. And um, I can just iterate through that and for each iteration, I can run my uh, pitch generator sap patch and uh, collect that into a box, box collect, making sure to connect the uh, command line into the box collect rightmost inlet. So I hope this will ha was helpful, and uh, if uh, you have any questions, you can ask me. Uh, I will also ask you to please subscribe to this channel, which is slowly but surely growing, and I appreciate that. So until next time, take care.